Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another edition of the RSGB Welcome to the Weekend Special. Is that right? Now, it's the RSGB convention, convention this year, yeah. which I have to say I'm very proud to, to actually repeat that it's well into our 25th, 28th year. I've actually lost count where we've been the sole and principal sponsor of the um, convention when I mean, it used to be called the HF convention. Yes. Yeah, it's had a few yeah, venues. It's since, had it, quite yeah. a few venues. Been all up and down the country, Manchester, Brighton, or wherever it was, down the south. We keep fiddling about. Uh, we're now uh, in in Kent's Hill Park. Kent's Hill Park, which is near Milton Keynes. Yeah, basically, so Milton so it's Keynes. a nice venue actually. It's a nice venue. Yeah, nice Tony and Richard yeah. will be there. I'll be wandering around, shaking hands and smiling at people as I normally do. But um, please come along and see us at the event, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend. However. We're going to quickly look around the used equipment with Tony, see what we've got. We've got a nice, nice selection. Again, if you've got any old kit sitting at home you want to turn into money or trade in, please give Matey Boy here a call, my sales manager, yep. and he will work out a price on the phone for you. So, where do you want to start, Tony? Uh, we'll start here. Yeah, why not? Flagships. Yep, STVDX so, 101 MP. Yep, so 200 watts, HF in 6 metres and 4 metres. And we know you like four metres, Martin. I love four metres. You always mention, oh, I've got to put four metres yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did listen this time. They did, finally. So for those that don't know, radio comes as standard, PSU and speaker alongside it. So basically, plug it straight in, no extra PSU needed. Um, sub receiver on here and you've got roof and filters on the main receiver as standard and it comes with a CW filter which not a lot of people know. On and the you've got receiver. 200 watts, of course. At 200 watts, yeah. And if you didn't want the 200 watts, you can go for a used FTDX 101D that I delivered to, did I deliver one of these to a certain gentleman in uh, Devon? Oh, you did? Yeah, yes I did. I'm um, still driving around the country delivering kit to people and he's a proud, I won't say who he is, he might be a bit embarrassed but I've known, <laughs> known you for years haven't I Mick? <laughs> um, so one of those second hand at 25.99 and no doubt you've noticed that the prices are going are. up and up and up as everything is in, in everywhere, whatever you look at, it's going up. I was in a petrol station yesterday, okay. and uh, I looked at a bag of crisps. I didn't buy them, by the way, although it looks like I've been eating a few. But a bag of crisps, it was a Walker's bag of crisps. I had any crisps in it. Do you know how much it was? On. £1.19p for a That's bag crazy. of... I didn't have them. It's disgraceful. Yeah. Um, but prices of a kit is going yeah, up, which, which is another yeah. thing. Ham radio is still a blooming good investment. Yeah. So you buy a piece of hi-fi kit, or video gear or whatever, and you flog that two or three years later to see how much you get. Doesn't happen with amateur radio. Yeah. Um, IC9700. So, 270. Yep, uh, 270, 23 SEMs, a standard. A uh, lot of guys going on to 23 SEMs yes, now. Yes, We that. won't tell them your story again, where you'll be no, bragging right. Watch, you're bragging right, swing, exactly. No, never yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. <laughs> right, so, yeah, a lot, a lot of guys going on to 23 SEMs. If you're looking at the IC905, which is due out oh, yeah. soonish, soon we don't know taking for certain deposits. Yet, but yeah, we are taking it's deposits. A matching uh, kitty to the IC705, of course. Yep. But if you want to jump on 23 SEMs, have a play around with that first, and you do 2 and 70, go for a 9700. Get your feet wet and then look at doing a 905 basically. Yeah. Good way of doing it. And saying about prices, Martin. Mm. Go now, on then. This is right. Oh, there it is. It's moved. It's moved. Yeah, I've you've been, been, you've been, been moving stuff. I've been tidying yeah, up. I know, I know, I know. So, FT 450Ds, Martin. Do you remember these? Yes, I do. Now, you remember what we used to sell them for? We used to sell them for 499. Exactly. And you're thinking, my God, what, 625? Yeah. Yeah, that's how much they've gone, gone up. In fact, they don't even make them anymore. They stopped making them a year and a bit ago. Yeah. Uh, when I spoke to Jason, I said, well, why are you stop making it? Because if they bought it out now, it'd be just under a thousand pounds and they didn't yeah. think it would sell. Um, and they're right. Uh, in fact, they've just released a new transceiver, which I think we're getting. Yep. Yeah, the FT. I was say IC seven ten because it was an IC seven ten. <laughs> FT seven ten. That's due. We hope to get our first delivery. Should be within the next seven to ten days. We're hoping. Just about so, yeah. for the uh, ham. Just fest. about for the ham fest. Uh, but uh, that's still a fantastic amazing, entry right? level or standby transceiver. Yeah. Uh, full HF, six meters with a built-in auto tuner. Yep. Talking of good, sturdy machines, I still love the FT950s. Yeah. 
I see you've been going a bit mad, Tony, because I can see I at least have. three. Yeah, I've, I've bought a, th a well, few of these. They're fantastic. Because, they're, like you said, they're a sturdy oh, radio. Sturdy radio. And Easy they're a use. decent size. And an Oh, God, there's another one. Yeah, one, two, yeah they're breeding. We, they're breeding four. at the moment. For what? I, I'm sure if you ring Tony and say he'll have all four, I was, he'll do you a uh, deal. No, I was gonna, gonna deal? I, well, what I was going to say is, as <laughs> always, when we've got loads yes and i won't tell martin but if you look over there henry oh crikey there isn't another there one. is another one oh there as well. my god okay well, we, we used to have this before with the four remember we had all those four yeah 50s? yeah i know i thought and, they'd never and go what i did then is seeing as we've got loads yeah. whilst we've got loads call or pop in and i'll do your deal on one it's as easy as that we'll cover his ears for the moment but yeah. we'll knock some money off okay as long as i don't see another one that's quite yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> right uh what else have we got um ftdx 3000 of course yeah, great radio it's still a very very good radio just under 1100 quid hf and six and underneath it i see an extraordinarily rare spe 1.3 k with the auto tuner fitted at 3200 pounds that's again a good saving off yeah, we're, wait, we're, we're waiting list on these. I do like have one it? new one left. In, if anyone wants one, that will probably go at the show. And then all the prices going up. And then the prices will shoot up. Right and up. if you do want one, six months, seven months, eight months maybe at the yeah, moment. Yeah. So if you really do want one, jump on it now because they don't come up very often, as you know. Um, one of my other favourites here, Martin. Mm. 920. This is a radio that I think I mentioned it for very briefly, yeah. wandering around the Yezu factory in Tokyo many years ago. <clears throat> and one of these was sitting on its side in the lab. And I'm being walked around by uh, the, the chairman uh, and the founder's son. And I looked over there and he saw me looking and I'm going, what is that? <laughs> and they all steered me away from it because I, I shouldn't have seen it. I didn't say anything. I said, I, I, I don't know that radio. And as I'm doing it, they're pushing me away. All of them <laughs> crowded around me and pushed me away. And he sort of laughed. He smiled at me. And then sure enough, a few months later, the FT920. Beautiful. 599 quid. Look at the size of that. It's basically, for memory, an FT840 in a yeah. large box, I seem to yeah. remember. Um, but it's very, very nice to use. Nice amber display uh, and, and a big footprint radio. So if you don't like the little fiddly ones, um, look at that. Uh, talking of slightly smaller real estate, as they call it, on front panels, the TS590S at 799, Kenwood's radio, which has morphed into the TS... Uh, SG. SG. 590 which SG. Which is the latest that one, is, still current. That, that's a great secret, because as you know, there's not much difference between this there and isn't. SG, and at that price... I know. It's, yeah, crazy. On it is crazy. It's crazy. And actually, when you look at that price and you look at that, you think, wow. But again, a lot of people like Depends larger radios, yeah. as I do. Yeah. Um, um, what I, else? I want, I want to go that way. Uh, go on, then. Go if on. that's possible. Yeah, sure. I can nip through here. Mm -hmm. So, running a little bit of oh, power. HF Auto. Yeah, HF I Auto. Earlier. Yeah. So, as you know, before in the, one of the, the last videos that we've done, we did have two of these. This is the early HF Auto, so it's 1500 watts, which should be more than enough for your mm -hmm. 400. Um, <laughs> Quite. <laughs> beautiful condition and £1,600. So, again, great price, 1600 Going back in time with Bernie and Brenda, two TS430s, don't normally buy these in because they really are 1983. <laughs> Crikey, really? 1983. 1983. Used to sell these FT847s, uh, no, FT757GXs and TS430s. HF, 100 watts, £399, so less than the price mm. of a handheld, yeah, to yeah. be honest. That is true. You get on HF, 100 okay. watts. Uh, looking for okay. uh, ACOM linear, 1010, so 700 watts output. Ideal for running your legal limit on at £14.99. Uh, these are £2,000, Two basically grand, new, yeah. yeah. Oh, and by the way, um, and that chap in Devon, thanks, Mick because he's got a little bit more power, hasn't oh, he? He has got, yeah. 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 All right, mate? Yeah. I'll <laughs> pop in for some cake. If there's any cake going. Coffee cake is Mrs. Oh, made it? the other oh, day. Oh, he rang me up and told me she's just yeah. made a co lovely coffee cake, and the last time I was there, I had some. He should open a cafe. It's, it's, that, it's that, that good, yeah, That's seriously. Good. Maybe a send or something. Amazing coffee maker. Right, coffee uh, cake <laughs> coming, coming around this way, if we look over the top here, got yes. an RM HLA 300 V plus. Now the reason it's called the V plus is because it's got the fans on top to keep it cool. Yep. Now RM state that this is 300 watts. Hmm. 
for the second time, I'm going to make it clear. Yeah, make it very clear. Because you may I have know. seen it, you may have thought it had gone and it's come back again. However, <coughs> it's not 300 watts. It's RM 300 watts. Which so means? around about 200 watts or so, you're probably yeah. going to get in order to keep it linear. So if you're buying it thinking you're getting 300 watts, you won't be, it will be... So ideally, if you've watts. got a rig that's but putting QRP, out 80 to 100 watts or, or yeah. 40 watts, that's a great piece yeah. of kit to buy. You're yeah. going to have to buy a power supply to run it, mind you, which is going to cost... Not off. a lot, because we're doing MP60. Oh, that'll run one. Yeah, yeah which will right. run it perfectly. Yeah, yeah. So look on the website for the MP60. I've yeah. got a real coax, Martin. I, what the hell is that doing I know, there? Well, it's one of those things we I looked know. at and we thought, that's quite a nice bit of coax. It's F0 coax. Oh, yes. Yeah, and it's all there. there. And it's new. It's basically new on the reel. So if you want to save a few pounds. 99 quid yeah. for how many metres? Oh, it's not far off 100 metres, yeah. really, Say is it? 18, so, you're going to yeah. be over that. Yeah. So that is blooming cheap yeah. these days. Underestimate it. Uh, talk of SPE, you're not going to believe this, boys and girls, but there's another 1.3 FA at £3,100. It's older. It's a little bit marked, as you can see. So it's been used, um, whereas that one is mint over there. But that's a good, again, £3,100. Yeah, no, no bag with that one, hence the price. No, well. But if you're going to be in the shack... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Looking up here, TS480s, SATs, so the 100 watt with auto tuner built in with a remote head, a 599. Um, yeah. We're not going to mention another FT. <laughs> now, this is rare. Tony totally yeah. showed me this. When oh, you like that, didn't you? Oh, you know, I, I had to wrestle that from your hands, to yeah. be honest with you. <laughs> the old function power meter. Look at all that. Built bike. I mean, this really is like a proper yeah. piece of industrial test equipment. It's a, it's a different era, though. Beautifully That's... made. Um, they moaned that the meter didn't go down. I said, it does. Look, it does. It's pretty well on zero. I mean, it's 80. Um, how much is it? Oh, 199. Um, everything feels over engineered. Look at that serial number. Proper little separate serial number plate. If you're interested in that to match your trio. TS820 or whatever, any of the, even earlier than that, then give Tony a ring because I'm sure he can do something on that for you. Yeah. There's no box with it. And, it, and if you want that and you don't have a trio, TS820. We can stick a Kenwood label over it. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we can actually get our hands on one. Really? Yeah, got a nice lineup. Yes, you have, very nice yeah. lineup. Oh, yeah, if, you look, if you're into collecting your old Kenwood trio it Kenwood is kit, yeah. fancy an old TS820. Do you remember the TS820s when they're out? It? Uh, uh, operated by Henry Lewis, G3 GIQ. Yeah. For those of you who remember Henry, look up G3GIQ.com as we subsidise and support his website, um, which he actually had himself. He unfortunately passed away quite a few years ago. In fact, um, the young fellow that's recording this now is Henry, and he was named after Henry Lewis, my son. So uh, he had all trio gear, trio Kenwood, and he had a TS820. Mm -hmm. And you look at where he was in the rankings oh, in the yeah. world, one of the top <laughs> operators. And we have one that looks like it came out of the it factory yesterday. Yeah. You'll see that appear down the, here. The in full lineup, we will be yeah. doing something with it. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be yeah. very I just want to make sure it's certain. Um, FTDX 5000s. Yeah, saw that. So you'll see I've got a couple down here. Yes, yes, yes. I've got another one, which I bought today. Right. Because the 950s were looking lonely. So you thought we'll buy half so a dozen So I thought I'd buy a few more 5,000s, yeah. Lovely, thousand, yeah. So um, nice. we've got one being collected, I believe, at the, sh the show, which yeah. will be now, yes. when you're watching the video. Yes. Um, get in while they're cheap. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Because I'm being pushed to pay a higher price every time I buy them in, and uh, the reselling price is going up, up, up. So be really quick if you want them. Most of the ones coming in are the limited edition ones. So they're what you call the current version of them, I suppose. Of, of the last run, yeah, the and last worth run. every single penny. <clears throat> I see uh, we haven't had a TS2000 for quite a while. Mm. Come around here, Henry, I see you bought one of these in recently, Tony. Yep. Um, that's in fantastic condition. It's under a thousand pounds. HF2 and 70. I wish they still made it. Yeah. I know it's 22 years old in design now. They stopped making it oh, okay. a year ago, was it? A year and a half ago. Um, but look at the condition of that. What a beautiful piece of kit that is. Yeah. And you can tell that a lot of the Kenwood stuff had sort of hi-fi influencing with the bowed front yeah, panels very and nice. all the rest of it. You don't get that that I come in. Well, you never know. There are rumours. There uh, are rumours. They're, they're at it, aren't there they? There are. Well, so I know they've been at it for a year or two, so but they really heard. are at yeah, it. So they are at it. Stand by your bed so for more can Kenwood I, kit. 
just say, as yeah. most of the people know, yes. and by the little faux pas that we do every now and then, it's not, we're not scripted now. So a little Blame bit of, the uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. A little mm -hmm. bit of behind the scenes in the fact that now this has come out today. Ah. So I'm going to show it to you early and hopefully it will be on the website by the time this goes live. So flex radio. Oh, 6500. And it's the 6500. Mm. Now, I can't always, remember last summer saw No, I exactly. Yeah. And I always used to say that this is where the smart money went. So if you've got a chunk of money you want to spend on SDR and you were thinking, oh, I'm going to get a 6700. I always wanted the 6700, the military user or whatever. You're not the military. This is the one you want. So it still gives you four slices. It's still got diversity, I believe, on yeah. the 6500 as well. And it's just robust. It just works. And obviously you can run it with version three software the as well. Yet? It's all been through the oh, workshop. So it's yeah, Gary's checked up. it out. John will be hopefully back in tomorrow, yeah. JJ, J K H S, and he'll clean and that. That'll up be up and, and running. Be on the, on yeah. the website as well. But that is that's what a if you want a really decent SDR radio. That's what I'm gonna for. do. There is so much second hand gear. Henry, if you can just without I'm not gonna go through it all, but just have a slow scan around these shells and we will look forward to seeing you at the RSGBHF convention and of course Newark. Yep. And then really save your money up as well because on the 5th of November, Guy Fawkes uh, Day, we're having mm -hmm. our open day. Finally. Uh, now we haven't had an open day Finally. for two years. We're gonna, all, all of us are gonna yeah. be here. Even I'm gonna drive all up from Devon, sunny Devon where I live now. Uh, we're going to all be here. Uh, no hog roast, I'm afraid, because you would not believe the price of pigs these days. <laughs> I know, it's terrible. It's not Lynch's hog roast. <laughs> but we are going to have food. It is hot food. It's going to be very, very nice. Yeah. And we've worked it all out. Uh, and that's going to be here free, free parking. We're going to have a bit of a boot fair. So if you get here early enough, park your car down the street, open the boot up and flog from the boot. Do not any money from it? If you want to give us a couple of quid at the end to put to a charity, we'll be delighted yeah. to take it from you. Uh, but um, that's the 5th of November, doors open at eight mm -hmm. o'clock and shut when we've stopped taking the money, but typically 4.30. Keep scanning around those. That's it really from us, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, nothing more really else to oh. add apart from, obviously, if you've got any issues with anything, obviously give the guys a call. We can get it sorted for you. Any problems with the website, etc. Again, just give us a call or email in to web orders. And if you've got any used equipment that you want to get rid of, it's uh, sales at hamradio.co.uk. That's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Henry's going to keep going around the shelves for another 30, 40 seconds and look forward to seeing you at the shows or indeed my open day. Yep. All the best. See you then.